Institute's known for replacing people with their sense. Hope that doesn't happen to me. Hi. Sir? Lieutenant? Careful around the railings. It's a long way down. Thanks for getting us off that damn ship. Guess I owe you my life, huh? Excuse me. Sir. Hey. Nothing to report, sir. Well done, General. If there really is anyone else out there, you'll be able to reach him. We'll see. Seven point eight nine. High command, do you copy? One two two point three seven. High command, do you copy? Damn it. One two five point one one. High command, do you copy? High command. Confirm your identity. State how you got this frequency. Incredible. I don't believe it. General Russell Ward, Department of the Army. I'm in process of reactivating the Atlantic oil rig, and I must speak to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I do not have a General Russell Ward as an active officer. Conduct a cross-reference with Enclave personnel transferred to Vogue 111 in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Please stand by. I think the General's getting somewhere. I have confirmed your identity, General Ward. Stand by while I transfer you. So, what's the aim here? Having contact with High Command means we can put through equipment and personnel requisitions. Assuming they've started caring about the oil rig again? With their support, we'll be able to restore the oil rig to its full potential and return to our primary goal. General Ward! The Chiefs of Staff are currently indisposed, but I wanted to make your acquaintance. I'm the Senator of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Senator Matthews. Allow me to congratulate you on your resuscitation. I'm told you're reactivating the Atlantic oil rig. Tell me, did Dr. Kane make it out of the vault with you? She did, Senator. Regarding the oil rig, I'm requesting reinforcements. 
They're urgently needed to properly repair and staff the facility. All in due time, General. I'll see to it you get what you need. Are there others in the room with you? Yes, there are. Well, then I look forward to making their acquaintance. I have other matters to attend to now. I will be in contact, General. We have much to discuss. Senator, Chiefs of Staff, you, you tell me I've gone from living in a hole in the ground to having a functioning government again? Colonel, you know Senator Matthews. No, sir. He must have come to office after we evacuated the oil rig. I see. In any case, our current priority is to ensure the oil rig is safe, structurally and defensively. Myers, coordinate with the other technicians to audit the oil rig's integrity and repair urgent faults you may find. Everyone else, continue to ensure the oil rig's safety. I will let you know when I have further orders. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Hello, Lieutenant. Now that we have a moment to talk, I wanted to congratulate you on a job well done so far. What's your story? Like many, I was born into the Enclave. I carried out my training over at Raven Rock in DC, and then transferred here shortly before it was destroyed. General Douglas spent most of his time overseeing the lab's work, so I handled the operation of our field troops in the Commonwealth. Losing Raven Rock hit us hard. We were isolated. And when we had to evacuate the oil rig, most of us went into hiding. I had to watch so many die due to exposure out there. I couldn't take it. That's why I came back here. And ran into you. Anything I can do to help out? Not at the moment. We're going to focus on regrouping until General Ward says otherwise. Never mind. I'll let you get back to it. Hey, Lieutenant. <clears throat> There's always something that needs fixing around here. <clears throat> we'll keep things in tip-top shape, don't you worry. Good work getting the Harper back. It's full of supplies. Sir. You made a wise choice joining us, Lieutenant. It's good to have you. Tell me about yourself. I don't think personal information is relevant to our operation. What's your plan exactly? Our long-term goal is to establish control over the United States, as is our right. Unfortunately, we are a long way off that. Right now, we need to muster whatever troops we may have and repair this facility. Never mind. We'll speak later. <laughs> 